Hey Cherubs, it's Matt. A lot of you told me that you don't feel cut out for medicine, that you're not smart enough, not good enough, that there's simply too much medicine for you to ever know. If you feel overwhelmed, I think that's actually reasonable. I'm an attending physician and I never wake up and tell myself, wow, I know all of medicine, not even close. I, I can't even spell amitriptyline. I'd even wager that no one knows all of medicine. And to demonstrate this, let's talk about blood pressure for a second. When I was a med student, the hypertension guidelines that I learned were from the 2003 7th Joint National Committee, or JNC7, which means that there were six JNCs before this one. Six! And then in 2014, JNC8 came out. So you'd think that this must be the final word on blood pressure, right? Nope. So in 2017, the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association put out their own hypertension guidelines. So this must be the final... Let's put this into perspective. Taking someone's blood pressure was one of the first things I learned how to do in medicine. Come on, I mean, it's a vital sign. Hypertension is probably the most common medical problem in all of adult medicine, and it's a well-established risk factor for many devastating medical problems. There's no shortage of antihypertensive drugs and a wide gamut of classes and price points. As such, you'd think that management of hypertension is one of the best established and least controversial topics in all of medicine, but somehow it's not. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should skip your vaccinations or start smoking, but it really makes you wonder what we actually know for sure about medicine. And the truth is we're finding out new stuff all the time. New studies come out in a thousand different journals, stuff gets pulled off the market. We're being bombarded by information, so it's genuinely difficult to keep pace. And you're not wrong to feel that way. When they tell you that medicine is about lifelong learning, they're not joking. Let me be real with you for a second. There's a good chance that you're smarter than I am. No, really. I definitely wasn't the brightest student in my class by a long shot. I'm not a perfect person, or even a good person. I make mistakes each and every day of my life. You have the potential to surpass me. I know you do. You know what separates us? It's not intelligence. It's experience. So you keep reading and practicing and learning and making mistakes, and I can't ask anything more of you. I can't teach you to care, but I can teach you medicine. So keep learning, and thank you for everything you do in the service of others.